I have to say, when I first walked in and saw the mural, I thought, oh, it just did not look in good shape. What had happened in the past, a few decades ago, it had been completely overpainted and they knew that there was something under there. And so people that worked in the building had got some paint stripper and some scrapers and they'd actually tried to reveal it themselves. Unfortunately, quite a bit of damage occurred, but I could see that there was enough of the original left that it was worth saving. Quite a lot of the original paint that's left is sensitive to the solvents that are required to remove the layers on top. So we're actually, we've done most of it manually with a scalpel um, under a loop, under magnification. Tom Moore's staff of remarkable restorers painstakingly over many, many months, inch by inch restored the Bay of Naples mural, one of the most uh, remarkable murals of its time. It's a very popular tourist view of Naples and it has Vesuvius in the background smoking. It was a scene that was painted by painters around that time because Vesuvius had, had erupted um, and so the skies were beautiful. So the colors in the actual mural, the oranges and the purples and everything, um, are probably a result of an artist viewing it after the eruption. Once covered in seven to 10 coats of paint, we now have uncovered the original mural and it has been restored to its original brilliance. It's like a mini Pompeii temple. It's, it's, Amazing. He turned the building into his own little Italy.